The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, today, what do we have? Well, it's a tale of two cities. Rich man, poor man. Uh, we got a little bit of everything. We're up uh, 58 points on the S&P uh, cash. Finally got the bounce. Uh, and it's basically bad news is good news. Uh, the EU said everything's going to hell in the handbasket. Uh, so everybody thinks that means that they won't raise interest rates anymore. And it's uh, the, the uh, manic depressive cycle continues in the market. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Earnings out after the bell tonight. Um, you know, one of the things you probably would have liked to have seen uh, was some decent volume today. And uh, so far... Uh, pretty crappy. Uh, 6.3 billion shares. So a light volume pop. I've been hoping for one. I thought it would take over a couple of days, maybe into Friday to get all the way up to resistance. But we rocketed right there. It's kind of an all or nothing market. So the question is, uh, probably you don't want to short instantly. But the question is, do you get anything more out of this in the next day? The volume is pathetic. Uh, comparatively uh, to previous rallies and uh, previous uh, uh, dives in the market. So this is not a sign of strength yet, uh, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Light volume pop, at least so far, right to resistance. Uh, but that's it. Um, 877-927-6648. We'll start looking for some stuff. Uh, crude oil off uh, fairly significantly. Um, gold, uh, uh, I think if there was a church uh, that gold had, it would be called uh, the perpetual, uh, um, perpetual whining of the sisters of the poor of the market. Why didn't it stay up there, church? Uh, down $29 today. But uh, just a little bit every, of everything is there. But uh, this is just the way I suspect, or at least uh, I don't see any change, bear markets work. And that is uh, you'll get two, three, four days higher, although a, a, a bet very smallly uh, or percentage-wise higher, higher, higher. Uh, you'll get some short squeezes in those stocks that are short. Uh, and then uh, when the shorts give up shorting, uh, the market heads back down again. So I'll be very interested to see if anybody actually uh, shorts us tonight when I start looking at the FINRA data. Uh, so far, looks fairly benign. Uh, probably the easiest way to watch uh, uh, how many people are going short uh, and track it is the UVXY. It's down 6% today. So on a, what are we going to call it, a one and a quarter percent uh, pop so far today. Uh, light volume, yeah, not a lot of shorts. Uh, that's given it up fairly strongly today. And the opposite thing is, does everybody decide to dive in on top of that grenade and go short? If it does, then maybe we have a little bit more. If we don't, then that is quite <laughs> Our Lady of Perpetual Hope or Perpetual Slaps our head on the ruler. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't Catholic, but I had a friend that was. And uh, the nuns used to beat him uh, senseless. And, uh, eh, he didn't, uh, he was a very smart guy, but man, did he not like school. Um, but uh, very smart, just the same. Uh, 877 927 6648. You can uh, email me at path, that's P A T H, if you're in uh, loot, uh, P A T H at T F N N dot com. 
And, of course, uh, you can always put messages in the din. A um, lot of questions about the TLT. Let's go to the charts on that. Um, pretty amazing that we're not getting, if I can find it, where's my chart thing here? Uh, pretty amazing that we didn't stop at 122 and just kept on going. Um, that is going to be probably a pretty good extension of this move. Uh, energy was stronger. Um, now, you this does set up a bounce if you do get one to 125, 128, but it may be a lot farther down before you get that bounce. I don't see anything out here that really says anything other than a doji, and you may that may be your saving grace is a light vo uh, uh, volume doji and maybe some kind of um, folding like a $5 suitcase by the Fed, although I don't see that. They know that their credibility is uh, worse than dog doo-doo. So I don't know if there's a whole lot. 125-ish, that would be awful proud uh, on a move on this, uh, but hard to see. Anyway, bounce on bad news because they're thinking bad news means uh, lower uh, interest rates longer. Uh, the last of the folks that uh, had thought about buying houses at low interest rates are crowding in. So you've got a little bit better housing starts, that kind of stuff, uh, this morning. Uh, better than thought, anyway. But uh, probably the last hurrah. Uh, and, of course, uh, energy and things like that starting to roll over which is uh, in gold, which I think is, I don't think it's a sign that inflation's going away. Uh, it may just be a sign that uh, people are running for um, anywhere they think is safe. Uh, but uh, you, I mean, the big problem with the XLE out here is you had a ni uh, 98 million share high on March 8th. That was at $80.22. You went into it yesterday with 30 million shares. So what is that, a third? That's not anything that you want to see. Uh, today, all you have is a doji out here. So is there something else going on? This gold, uh, maybe just the end of a really extended movement. Uh, and uh, people thinking that they're going to try to find a faster horse in equities today. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I am not persuaded yet to be in the bull camp. Uh, and that means I probably will be in the market a little less and make a little more money. But uh, that is just I. 877 uh, But, uh, eh, I do digress. Let's go to uh, a little bit of history, and then we'll move on. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1965, Electronics Magazine publishes an article by Gold, uh, Gordon Moore, head of research and development for Fairchild Semiconductor and uh, future co-founder of Intel. He writes an article that says that the density on integrated circuits will double every 18 months for at least the next 10 years. That was uh, 50. Five years ago? Seven. Anyway, this theory will eventually become known as Moore's Law, and it still pretty much holds true today. We'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Yes, in the first segment, I did cover bonds, the TLT, ad nauseum already. But uh, they're extending, and uh, maybe 125 and a pop, but that's it. Not a whole lot to say about that. I uh, did have a request to be a little positive. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Don't you knock it off with them negative waves. Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Always with the negative waves, Moriarty. Always with the negative waves. Yeah, so, okay. I'll be positive one day. I'm positive we're headed lower. Anyway, the, uh, <laughs> the, the issue is, uh, are there anything, is there anything good going on is the question from Robert. And, uh, yeah, you got a little bit of a bounce in Tesla. I'd say the, the only good news that I've seen today that really moved much of anything, we'll talk about it. Well, I guess that and the mask thing, which I'll look at next for Brian. Uh, but anyway, uh, Tesla bounced a little bit. They're reopening uh, their factories. Uh, unclear whether Apple's uh, manu uh, assembly lines – because they really don't manufacture much there in China. It's mostly uh, assembled parts. Uh, but anyway, uh, Tesla uh, did bounce a little bit on that, but the volume's uh, pretty poor so far today. I don't think it matters a great deal. Certainly for automobiles, it's uh, going to be harder to sell them going forward at higher interest rates. And uh, it's not like housing. They are not really going to drive uh, interest rates lower that much. They're probably just going to go up higher and much faster on autos because that tends to be the first thing that people don't pay on. So uh, we shall look at that. And uh, like I said, I'm positive. Uh, we're going lower. Anyway, uh, other than that, I don't think there's much to say in Tesla. Um, a, a Tampa federal judge did uh, give a very good um, forecast of what's going forward if we do have any more uh, 
moves by the federal government to uh, impose its uh, edicts uh, on us through some of its federal uh, branches. Um, and, you know, if you want that stuff, I guess the thing to do is call your congressman and get him to pass the bill. But at the moment, um, like a lot of things we found out, uh, the government did a lot of things that didn't have the power, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, power to actually do. Uh, and hopefully they'll figure out uh, the next time that uh, emergencies don't last two years. They last a month, maybe two months, and uh, get together and actually come up with something instead of just running around um, and uh, having edicts. But on Boeing, you got a nice move here today. But again, I think it's more about fuel prices now. Boeing had it kind of covered. But uh, after everybody, you know, that, probably the best thing that Boeing has going for it is everybody being cooped up for the last couple of years. Uh, it's bouncing today, maybe on light, lighter volume. Um, I would have loved to see one more retest of 167. And as I said, I'm fairly bearish. Doesn't mean that uh, I'm going to be short every day. And probably it means I can be short every week or two and make a lot more money than probably being long and getting caught out if I am right on that path. But uh, not much going on there. Just uh, you got a great deal going on, and that's it. Uh, no soup either. <laughs> uh, uh, on Apple, not that many components actually come from China, although there are a few. Almost all the company, the the components now, Apple over the last two years has done a great deal to decentralize themselves off of uh, ma uh, of assembly and manufacture and manufacturing in China. A uh, great deal has much been moved to Vietnam, Malaysia, a lot of the other uh, countries, and not only that, but the big assembly lines. Uh, they told Foxconn to move, and they did a, over a year ago down to uh, India. So why China is still a big and important part in shutting down the assembly line was for Apple and Tesla, shutting the factories for Tesla. Um, Apple is uh, only about half as linked to China as it was maybe a year, year and a half ago. So there is uh, some pretty good... Uh, Eh, silver lighting there if you're talking about uh, not being dependent on a single manufacturer or a single country for getting everything you need done. Uh, R-O-K-U. Off the bottom, supposedly. We'll take a look, and we will decide. Um, the one nice thing you had was the super high volume low at 102.60 with 66 million shares. You're going to get a really nice bounce, and I should have taken it. I did not. The March 15th low was 7 million shares compared to 66 million shares. A blind man could have seen it. If you looked at the uh, power law vector indicator on the art of timing the trade charts, you went up on a 15, you came back on a 7. Uh, if the market hadn't just been horrible, I probably would have taken the trade. But even then, I was uh, thinking short, and I made money on it. But uh, you don't get many of these out here, and I should have bought it anyway. Uh, and it may have been my hedge on the rest. I did not. Uh, you're back into kind of into those candles now with about 3 million shares. Again, uh, this was a company I got uh, chastised for uh, when it was $350, and I said I had no idea how it made any kind of money uh, to make it worth that. Now at a third of the price, it is a third, isn't it? Let's go back and look in the way back machine. Oh, not a third, a fifth, or darn near a fifth. Uh, anyway, um, you even had a high volume high up there, which was one of the reasons I didn't short it. Uh, but uh, I was uh, picking up some uh, tasty quesadillas yesterday uh, at uh, sp uh, spending some of my ill-gotten cash from short positions last week. And uh, the guy in there was talking out about how Roku uh, and Fubi 
had all been charging the hell out of his credit cards, even though he hadn't uh, a uh, hadn't approved that. I wonder how much of that goes on when they're in tough uh, positions. They want to make the market look uh, look the stock look a little bit better, and uh, they'll give the money back later, if at all, if people don't complain. I think they went a little far. He said seven hundred bucks for Ro between Roku and Fubi, which is another kind of thing just like it. Um, so I figure you, you know, you, you probably if you're go, trying to go that far, how much stuff do you have to watch to get a seven hundred dollar bill? For you? I'm not exactly sure. That's got to be a mistake of some kind, but uh, maybe not just the old honest mistake. Maybe. They're trying to, to uh, put some lipstick on this pig down at the lows uh, when it's uh, what uh, 20 percent of its uh, highs. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back that guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return... Uh, Pete wants to know about Toll Brothers. You've got a very light volume bounce so far. If you go back a few days, you had uh, almost 3 million shares. You're up on about 720,000 shares today. 
Now, I could be wrong, but my guess is if I am wrong, we are going to get a retest at least uh, of previous lows, like on this one back on April 7th, $44.84. But I think everybody knows this is the last hurrah, and uh, a lot of people are going to be tr uh, be uh, selling their houses, uh, some of the bigger areas of the country. And I want to say it's Boise, Idaho. Uh, was the, probably the biggest bubble, only sink, uh, second to uh, Tampa and Miami uh, in, for bubbles in housing, as of late anyway. Uh, but the Boise one's kind of blown up. I haven't seen much change down here in Florida. And I think it's still people moving down here. Um, but uh, yeah, everything has a peak. Uh, but uh, certainly issues uh, with that, but now I think you're going to go back lower. Again, I'm still thinking that without any uh, information to change my mind, my mind is pliable, uh, kind of like a baby. So you can kind of mold that skull a little bit still. Most people uh, are stuck. I would change my mind if the market does something different, but uh, I still suspect that 41.10, 41.15 level on the S&P cash is going to get tested and it's probably going to get tested uh, when the market does turn down the next time very uh, tough uh, we went through a lot of stocks what last week uh, that started to give us signals uh, or patterns for the double repo pattern uh, that's 10 15 days straight up above the three by three a couple days below a couple days above and then the next move below is the one where you get the kind of uh, destruction that people only think and read about from 1929 at least they think it is it's generally not a, that bad but I mean, any lower is always the end of the world for people that are perma bulls uh but uh now i wouldn't be pulling a, a richard s would i be uh, going short right now no um as we said yesterday today and tomorrow or today and yesterday our options rollovers and just tends to be a lot of options written through most of the summer so there's a lot more going on than usual. And because of that, you end up having uh, sometimes maybe a couple hours tomorrow morning uh, of that extension. Then the market generally presents itself with its true direction. It takes its mask off and uh, lets everybody know who's underneath there. So I'm not a big fan of making a, a big... Uh, uh, hill of beans over today's bounce uh and uh tonight when i actually look at uh what uh, people did in shorts and how the volume came in at the close because we still have a lot of time left to go maybe everybody decides to buy in the last few minutes of the day but uh, as i said so far volume pretty poor and of course we've got some amount of earnings out after the bell too uh, we had some earlier, and uh, we're going to go through some of those real quick, uh, that were either in the news or had some earnings. Uh, to to, to um, uh, retest of the top on very light volume for Lockheed Martin, uh, the energy off this uh, March 16th low uh, was not all that exciting for my power law vector indicator that measures the energy between the highs and the lows. Let's us know what's in that juicy middle. Uh, anyway, uh, didn't quite even get to the previous high that had 5 million shares on March 7th. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on that to ACC. Um, American uh, Campus Communities is a buyout at 65 bucks. People uh, believe that one, not so much the uh, Twitter buyout. Uh, to, to JBHT. Is that it? HT, is it? Yeah, HT. As we go through. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot on this one. Yeah, just kind of sideways action on it. Although it had some more earlier in the day. Uh, J and J out with some news uh pre-market up a little higher and making a new high but not holding it got to 185.94 and again 
uh, kind of a little bit of a siren song out there luring you to buy the high, but uh, not holding it. Uh, previous high on the 11th of this month, it was at 6 million shares. Uh, you already have 10 million, and you're not holding that high. So probably wouldn't short that one, but uh, just uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, also, stocks that tend to get seasonally weak at this period uh, are up a bit. Uh, Hasbro tends to be uh, kind of weak across the summer, and then depending on what kind of games they get, uh, can do well into the Christmas season. You have a huge bar out here uh, that is engulfing all these folks from going sideways back since uh, really the 4th. Uh, you had uh, kind of almost some uh, tweezer railroad track bottoms, um, and it just kind of went sideways for, uh, today, and then you had a nice bounce. 88.40 was the high. We're not much off that now. Uh, Halliburton also, a lot of people talking about that in the den today. And uh, it had a little bit of everything for people, but uh, a higher high did not hold it. Uh, volume is going to be okay, but not that great. And again, uh, my conversation on the XLE, I think gold and energy are telling us something. Um, and that is that everybody kind of thought that they've topped out, so they've run to the equities for the day. But uh, my guess is out of the frying pan and into the fire with those folks. But it may take another couple of days. Again, as I said uh, many times before, the problem with being short is you have to be willing to be wrong three or four out of five days to make the giant payout. And uh, a lot of times, if you just wait a little while, um, those three or four days will go by and you can reshort. You don't have to be short all the time. But sometimes you will miss those giant surprises to the downside. As they said uh, in the din, uh, tomorrow is a big day for those folks. Uh, and yes, I will. I've already got a request to play it. Uh, we will play the Reefer Madness uh, bumper. But uh, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, but we'll see what uh, if people are all front running it today. Uh, t -t 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 take a look here. Um, not so much. I guess they're all uh, uh, down uh, getting some uh, Doritos and munchies instead of uh, at the counter buying more shares of MJ. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what can you say? Looks like this is actually going to go retest 840. But uh, not a lot of volume. That's the best thing you can say is this is on extremely light volume. Uh, as you go back in there, you want something less than uh, 1.4 million shares, and you're about 900,000. See what the uh, next couple of days bring. Um, but that's it. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Come back. Uh, several requests for a very special 420 edition tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'll go through them tomorrow. Dave's not here. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, okay. So that'll be when. Oh, oh, we got a caller? I'm looking in Hello. here. I, huh? Hello, David? Yep. David, John from Philly. Hey, John. I'm looking in the wrong room here, I think. Hang on just a second. <laughs> chat. No? Uh, eh, I was in there. Uh, I'm looking bluish. Okay. Go right ahead, John. I think I'm David, all caught. David, I wanted to call and ask you uh, about oil. Now, as you know, I trade fairly aggressively the NYMEX crude oil futures. And I know you don't uh, look at the futures prices per se, but I share an observation, and I wanted to ask your thoughts. Um, I observed this. Back on Sunday, uh, March 7, spot crude oil futures made a panic high up at 130. Uh, it came back down and then bounced up and made a lower high at uh, somewhere around 116 and came back down and now bounced again. Now. Both times we've come back down, crude oil futures bottomed around the $93 a barrel level. But so here we have 130, then 116, and these two lows at 93. Just based upon those declines and bounces, David, I, you know, I've done my Fibonacci retracement calculations and have observed that the confluence level based upon 116 and 130 highs, the confluence level is approximately 108, and it's extremely tight, David. And, you know, you and I have talked over the years about paying attention to retracements, whether corrective declines or corrective bounces, at price action in and around confluence levels, particularly when they're tight. So 108, very tight. Uh, the high yesterday on crude oil futures got to 109, you know, right in that area, and we pulled back to 102, 103. So here we have lower highs, and we failed right at a confluence level that was very tight. So we can uh, make of that what what we will, but that is clearly a short-term bearish bearish message as I see it. And I, having said all that, I wanted to just ask you to share with us 
what your view is on the oil price and, you know, the big oil equities, if you could. Well, let's go to the OIH to begin with. Um, when you're talking about confluence levels for those people new to the show, um, if you take two Fibonacci ratios from two different long-term movements, not short-term, uh, you can get them. And I think this is probably the same thing you're seeing in the futures. Uh, but on this, uh, on the OIH, I've got uh, 219 to 217, which is a fairly decent retracement back here. Um, I'm not predicting that comes back, but that's where, you know, if you wanted some decent risk reward, you'd look for it. The only things that I really see uh, was the last couple of days of last week uh, was uh, you had about 67 senators all uh, getting ready to sign on drill, baby, drill. Uh, I think a lot of them looking at re-election, that kind of stuff, were wanted to get on the right side of that election cycle. The downside is the House hasn't moved at all. Uh, they're doubling down if there's anything else. So I don't know if there's a... Uh, uh, anything other than advancing production uh, in North America that's going to really change that. The, do you see anything in the political winds that says that's uh, going to happen? Other yeah, than no, David, uh, I observe the same thing that particularly your uh, discussion about the House of Representatives. Uh, so I see that. I don't see anything dramatically changing. So, yeah, so the answer is no. Well, I, I do see, I don't know if this would line up with yours in the futures, but it does say that, you know, you could have a pullback to 219 uh, on the OIH. And at uh, 312 yesterday, uh, that's a pretty big haircut uh, just off the top. Now, you know, maybe peace breaks out. Maybe the Arabs and the Israelis all decide to hug. But I don't. It hadn't happened in 2,000 years, so I'm not, I'm not highly optimistic on that side. Uh, but uh, you know, maybe something does happen that we do not know. Uh, if you do get some bearish news, like uh, better news, uh, maybe coming out of war, uh, other things, uh, more production, maybe even uh, uh, the, the Canadians want to ship us a million barrels a day, and uh, all we're getting is a lot of yet from the uh, administration on that, you know, if that actually had happened, I think we could see a massive pullback. But, you know, it looks to me like everybody just keeps doubling down on we'll teach them a lesson by making fuel prices as high as we can. Right, right. Well, very good on that. Um, uh, I thank you for sharing your thoughts. I will just be very uh, interested if or put it this way, if, in fact, oil rallies back here uh, from today's level, 102, 103, and surpasses yesterday's high, 109, and that 108 confluence mark, uh, that'll be a signal to me of a um, potentially de decent rally extension occurring thereafter. So uh, I guess those yeah, are my I parameters, so I, I appreciate your discussion. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot less than a hundred bucks here, but you know, maybe peace and good news break out. Uh, maybe everybody just thinks uh, the economy is going to get so horrible, no one's going to be buying it. Mm, you know, I don't know the reverse psychology on this stuff, but I just don't see a great deal fundamentally that underpins what I'm saying with the crude oil being down five fifty or five sixty today. I don't know why it is. Maybe maybe there's something going on in the futures. I know you trade that a lot more than I do. Uh, yes. Um, other than that IMF uh, forecast come out today about economic weakness seemingly spreading, uh, combined with having just failed right there at that confluence mark, um, uh, to me that accounts for the selling pressure and the lack of buying today. So. Yeah. Well, David, okay. thanks so much for your time. Do appreciate it, sir. You bet. 877-927-6648. Uh, you can be like John, who lives in Philly, not near Philly like other folks. And uh, yeah, you can go back and look at that. Uh, we got some more emails here while we waited. Uh, you talked about Apple a little bit. Do you see much going on? 
Uh, not right now. We got one more segment. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, we'll talk about this because this is what I think a great deal is happening. And it's already started in these uh, bigger stocks. We'll talk about that when we wrap up the show in the next segment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, I wanted to go back through this double repo pattern. Uh, you can use a nine day. I like the three by three displaced moving average that's taking. Uh, basically, it's a six day pattern where you take three days average and you put that average out uh, three days into the future. And that's why this uh, line actually goes out into the future, uh, not back to the future, but into the future. Um, so what do we have here? Um, anyway. The pattern on this is you get a close above the nine day or three by three, and you then you just start counting. And if they're all on one side and they don't kind of go back and forth, a pretty good indication that you're going to have some kind of significant top on the other side of these when they stop. On Apple, you started on the 16th of March. That's the first one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
yeah, let's call it 12 days. And generally, in a bear market, they're 12, they're 10 to 15 days. In a bull market, they can be 15 to 25 days. But this pattern, which is a more of a bearish one in a bear market, you get a huge rally. You get that move. You get a day or two underneath it. Uh, in this case, you had one day underneath it, one day back above it. And then the next pull back is when you want to go short. And that's where we ended up on the 5th of April, which was the confirmation. And you just keep on moving down. And occasionally you get a little move higher. There are so many of these stocks that are kind of setting up uh, to continue uh, along this way of this double repo pattern. And you have to look at them going all the way back where it started. In this case, um, you'd be looking at uh, to, to, what was the close? 159.59. It's not that much farther for Apple. But, uh, a lot of these are back where they start big rallies. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you tomorrow. Same back channel.